Okay, once again we have uh, some idiot scientists seeking publicity for more funding so they can keep their jobs. It was announced today that the Laser Interferometry Gravitational Wave Observatory of which there are uh, two locations in the United States and one uh, in Italy which were used for triangulation. One is in Louisiana, one is in Washington. They're laser interferometers and uh, they're supposedly uh, gave uh, proof or validation to Einstein's uh, gravitational waves. Well, they didn't. Let's actually take a look at uh, something that you can demonstrate here on your tabletop. This is actually uh, an example of a laser interferometry. Now, before I actually get to the demonstration, um, let's uh, duplicate uh, binary objects. And I'm going to use a pair of magnets right here. Got North Pole here, South Pole here, North Pole here, South Pole there. Let's actually demonstrate that underneath the ferrule cell, but let's first talk about what they actually did discover, and let's take a look at their claims. Okay, when uh, they've stated that when a gravitational wave passes through the interferometry, and uh, the laser interferometer, well, this isn't the case. Space time in the local area is altered. That's what they state. Well, that's BS. The EM phase shift retardation occurs. There's a magnitudinal measure in space has no properties, nor can nor does space alter any field modality. No proof for same exists. Likewise, Tesla and others have declared that space has no properties, and a field, of course, never has and ever could terminate in space. Space is not a terminal. They go on to state that depending on the source of the wave and its polarization, well, dielectric acceleration has absolutely no polarity. And uh, they go on to state, well, the results uh, in an effective change in the length of one or both of the cavities, the effective length of change between the beams will cause the light current in the cavity to become very slightly out of phase with the incoming light. Well, that's the key point there that they don't understand. The cavity will therefore periodically get very slightly out of resonance and the beams which are tuned to destructive interference at the detector will have a very slight periodically uh, variation uh, of detuning. This results in a measurable signal. Well, this is a result you can see underneath any ferrule cell, and it's a measurable signal. It's always uh, it's a damn vortex, uh, which is the same thing that they claim that they detected. So let's take a look at a pair of binary objects here in a second. Let's take a look at some pictures underneath the ferrule cell of this EM phase shift uh, retardation. Okay, here you can actually see the pointed patterns where we have a north pole of a magnet, here we have a south pole. They're actually phase shifting towards a center point. Here you can see the same thing. We have either magnet. We actually have a null point vortex right here as they're actually spiraling. I'll show you that in a second using the ferrule cell. So this is what they claim to have uh, witnessed, but they don't understand. See, observations are one thing. Explanations are another. This is where everybody gets everything wrong. It's, well, we've made the observations and they're reproducible and they did wait a good many months before they actually announced their observation, so we'll give them credit for that. But what they have explained uh, certainly is not the case. The observations are not uh, incorrect, so in their BS explanations and comprehension of the simplex field theory, this is nothing other than this, and this is classical electromagnetic theory. This is electromagnetic retardation and theory of relativity, but this is not about theory of relativity. It's the proof that classical electromagnetic retardation disproves the theory of relativity. This guy, by the way, Dr. Olo Dicefminko, recently passed away. Multiple PH, uh, PhDs, he was a hardcore critic. This was a uh, professor, endless math in this book, a, a hardcore critic of relativity. The proof that, for example, like GPS satellite correction has anything to do with proving relativity, he disproved that. He's written many books. Here's another one by him, Gravitation and Co-Gravitation. He actually goes on to state that all, Oliver Heaviside accurately explained uh, what gravity is in an appendix to one of his books, and certainly not Einstein. So the light phase vortex acceleration, the phase shifting, looking at EM phase retardation is no different than that as uh, seen underneath the ferrule cell. And uh, you can make a reference to this book. It's rather heavy. Um, it make most people's brains explode. Um, the entire fallacy of this discovery is that it uses the Fabre uh, Piro cavities, which of course proves my point entirely. It uses a... Uh, a uh, uh, a beam reflector back and forth in these fabry pyro cavities to actually supposedly prove their claim. Well, their observations are correct, but the explanations are totally wrong. The light vortex due to the dielectric acceleration is no different than light uh, passing over uh, magnets in a ferro cell. 
you know, by the way, their observation is that there is a phase vortex actually occurring between these binary objects. Well, actually, they're not actually objects. They're, uh, they're uh, null points in the counter space. That which people call a black hole is, is a point where dielectric acceleration actually overcomes uh, the possibility for manifestation. It's kind of like an absolute hole. Except, of course, space is nothing. Space is the absence of inertia, and time is nothing other than a measure of magnitude. So what you're looking at is complete absence due to incredible dielectric acceleration. So anyway, these binary objects, I'm using the word objects in uh, the vernacular here. Um, so they didn't find any evidence of Einstein's space-time, rather simplex dielectric acceleration. EM uh, phase uh, rarefactions and compressions, you know, space has no properties. Time is only a measure of magnitude, as I said. So, uh, they're only looking at high order light capacitance phase EM retardation um, using uh, the laser interferometer. So, using a laser interferometer to actually measure high order capacitance phase EM retardation. And they're saying, well, those are gravity waves. No, it's not. It's simplex dielectric acceleration. Phase cancellation is occurring when the dielectric acceleration is out of phase and amplified when in phase. This behavior is no different as that seen uh, from light passed through a slit. Gravity does not exist as an autonomous field modality of simplex dielectric acceleration. These idiots are just seeking more public funding. You know, classical electromagnetic field theory explains the observations, a la Tesla and Maxwell, not the idiot Einstein and his warped brain, warped uh, space-time nonsense. So let's take a look at something that these idiots spent countless, countless, countless millions of dollars creating, and let's actually mimic the exact same thing by using a binary object underneath the ferro cell. Let me turn the lights off, and let's place it underneath here, and let's wait for the image to develop. You can actually see that, you'll see this is a magnet here vertically, and one over here on the other side. Whoops, I flipped it there. There we go. Let's wait for the image to develop underneath the ferro cell. You see these egg shapes? This is a magnet here, this is a magnet over here. They're actually all coming to a null point at the center of the image here. They're all coming to a null point. If you actually look at the very, very center right here, you'll actually see a void. And this is, instead of, I'm using four poles here, instead of two, but two, but this is the exact same thing. If you're actually to block out either pair of these on either side, you block out this pair, or block out that pair. This is the exact same thing that they report as having seen, and it's nothing other than simplex EM phase shift retardation. It's like, wow, that's just classical electromagnetic theory, a la Tesla, Faraday, Steinmetz, Oliver Heaviside, James Clerk Maxwell. It has no support and basis whatsoever to back up anything Einstein says. What you're actually seeing here, you know, white banding, dark banding, white banding, dark banding, this is also EM phase shift retardation. You know, Mother Nature is a really simple girl. She only works off two principles, and that is force and motion, inertia and acceleration, and there are only four things to understand in the universe. Resistance, capacitance, permeability, magnetic permeability, and dielectric permittivity. Now let's actually turn these magnets end on. Oh my god, look at that. It looks like a single magnet, but this is actually two. In other words, when you look at either pole like that, it looks exactly the same thing underneath the ferro cell as it does with one magnet. Oh, how shocking. That would be a proof of a platonic incommensurability. But this is the exact same thing they report in their own video is seeing. You actually see a vortex of binary objects rotating around a point, a null point, of uh, maximum acceleration and inertia. Is this any proof of Einstein's uh, gravity waves? No, it's simplex electromagnetic theory. It's very, very simplex electromagnetic theory. This doesn't prove Einstein at all. It actually, all it does is it reinforces Tesla, reinforces James Clerk Maxwell. You see, Einstein didn't invent a damn thing. And what little ideas he did have, he stole from Hanway Poincaré and others. There's actually many books out there about that. This is just classical electromagnetic field theory that explains the observations of Tesla and Maxwell. See, they actually make these very keen statements that they don't, you know, they make correct observations, but uh, incorrect conclusions and incorrect explanations, which is a huge fallacy of science. Huge! You know, you can observe anything and you can reproduce the results. And you can say, well, 
you know, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. It's like, well, yeah, you've made a huge discovery there. Well, the explanation is, is there's a team of unicorns up there in the sky, and there's a sky god, and he pulls the sun from one side of the earth to the other. And, uh, you know, since I made the discovery, then therefore my explanation is also correct. No, it doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Um, so their observations are correct. Um, but this is just simplex high order light capacitance phase EM retardation. Electromagnetic retardation. Oh my god, a very classical theory that belongs to Tesla, Faraday, Steinmetz, and Oliver Heaviside and James Clerk Maxwell. It has nothing to do with gravity waves. Well, where's the math uh, for electromagnetic retardation? Well, I suggest if you were interested in finding out about that, you could buy this nice book by Dr. Ola D. Jeffamingo, and uh, you will understand everything if your head doesn't explode. Very, very simple. Gravitation and cold gravitation has nothing to do with gravity waves. We're talking about phase cancellation of dielectric acceleration of a binary object here we have a binary object causing phase cancellation as it's mutually going around a null point of maximum acceleration or the center of gravity if you will same thing as a hurricane you know the eye of a hurricane there's nothing there where's the uh, the center of gravity there's no gravity at the center of gravity Oh no, well this is gravity waves. You see these light waves? Same thing here, except I'm using a quadrature instead of a polar. I mean, these idiots spent millions and millions of dollars and they want millions of more funding, which is why they, they made a huge press announcement. Because they want more money for more funding, because that will, you know, pad their jobs for the next 20 years. And they're going to be looking for something that has already been explained 80 years ago by classical electromagnetic theory. Well, my God, let's reinvent the wheel and ask for a bunch of money for it. Actually, they uh, revamped the laser interferometer over many years, so actually it's retroductive. What they're actually doing is justifying the cost of the upgrade that they've already spent many millions of dollars on, but also additionally to look for additional funding. So today's huge scientific announcement was nothing other than a pile of crap by a bunch of brainless scientists with more money and more gear than brains looking for plenty of funding to keep their asses in work. Oh my god, what a timeless story of stupidity and ignorance and deception. Hooray! We discovered something that Tesla and uh, James Clerk Maxwell already understood and wrote about decades ago. You're awesome. Not... Nah.